today we're park hopping, cruising around, and having some fun at Walt Disney World. So how about you and I dive right in? Oh yeah, starting over here at Hollywood Studios. Just got out of the park, popped in for just a brief moment, cruise around. But we're gonna start the vlog here because we're gonna Skyliner over to the boardwalk, grab a little tasty treat, and then jump inside Epcot to enjoy a few laps around the park and dinner. And then maybe later, enjoy a little bit of Magic Kingdom. It's gonna be a park hopping Lollapalooza. And I hope one day Disney expands this because I just love this system so much. It's so convenient, it's very easy. I prefer this over the Disney shuttles. I'll take this any day. So hopefully they'll exp expand it to the Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom, that would be great. And if you've never taken this, Here's some information on where this line goes. So this will take you to the Caribbean Beach Resort, and then you have to transfer to a different Skyliner that will either take you to the Art of, An Art of Animation or Pop Century Resorts, or you can go the way that I'm going, which will take you to Riviera and Epcot. Also, they have listed hours for you if you're not really sure the hours. They pretty much run until 11 p.m. where we have to transfer. Oh look, we can visit the Alps. And again, for those that don't know, if you go this way, you're gonna head towards the Art of Animation and Pop Century Resorts. And if you go towards this other way, you'll get to Riviera and Epcot. Yeah, the system is so cool because they have this really neat transfer track right here. So if they need to push a Skyliner pod over there to assist with some handicapped folks, you can do that pretty easily without disrupting the main line. After a nice ride on the Skyliner, we've made it to International Gateway. We're gonna go over to the boardwalk next to grab a little treat, because our dinner reservation's not until later on, like five or six, so yeah, we're gonna beeline it over here. So much fun to ride the Skyliner, take the monorail around, do these, res like, these really fun resort crawls, get to explore the different properties, and it just kind of gives you a better perspective on how huge Walt Disney World really is. Even though it's a little gloomy out, it's still really pretty to kind of stop and appreciate the water here. Nice lagoon, the beachfront. I love those bikes too. Totally reminds me of being back in Huntington Beach. A lot of people would rent those bikes, just kind of cruise the strand. Might have to do that one of these days. I've never done that here. And one of these days we're gonna have to actually stay at Boardwalk. It's like the one property in this circle that I have yet to enjoy. Stayed at Swan and Dolphin this year. Stayed at the Yacht and Beach Club. So yeah, oh, bless you, someone sneezed. And they're still working on the new cake shop. It'll be opening up sometime soon. That's what the concept art looks like. So yeah, very beautiful building. That'll fit nicely in the boardwalk theme. I'll have to try out some of those tasty treats that'll be available. We made it to the pizza window and this is the tasty treat that we're gonna have before we head inside the park. I figure why not get a slice of pizza while we're here. And we got three slices of cheese pizza to tie us over. Oh yeah, again, they smell very delicious right now. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. We're gonna start making our way towards Epcot, but good thing to note, they do not offer a whole pizzas here anymore, so very interesting. They only offer slices of pizza. And this is the location that we get our margaritas from. Very good margaritas here at Boardwalk Joe's. And what's nice about staying at Boardwalk or Beach Club, it's not too far of a walk into International Gateway. It's just right around the corner. Yeah, it's a little windy right now, so I'm having to hold my umbrella like this because this thing, these, di whoa! These Disney Parks umbrellas are definitely the worst umbrellas ever made in history. And of course, right when you walk in, a beautiful display of Mickey and Minnie for the Flower and Garden Festival. Kind of taking a stroll through France here, and look at this. They even have the bubbles in the champagne. So they must have used some sort of resin 
to create that effect. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I really love about the different pavilions is like all the small little details. A lot of people walk right by them, but people like me and you who are obsessed will notice just the tiniest little things. And again, here are these souvenirs, the Eiffel Tower souvenirs. Yeah, when I was in Paris, I saw so many vendors selling these little things. Obviously, they didn't have stitch on them like this one does, but they were more like these ones down here. And yeah, there was just like a boatload of them. Like you turn on every corner and there'd be someone selling a little miniature version of the Eiffel Tower. We made our way around the corner to the expansion here in this pavilion where the new Ratatouille attraction is. Again, I don't, I don't really like this section right here. Look at how it blocks the facade. They've got a beautiful facade because it's identical to the one that's in Paris. And it's very gorgeous. And especially the fountain right there in the center with the champagne bottles. They just kind of ruined it with this, uh, again, it, it, it's a pretty looking, what would you call it, like a gazebo, or what is that? Yeah, kind of a gazebo, yeah. Yeah, like the ironwork on it is, is gorgeous, but again, like, dude, why would, you, <laughs> why would you put that right there? Oh, thank goodness, I was wondering where the hotel was. And if you're feeling a little cheesy, still need to eat here one of these days. I've yet to eat at this particular restaurant, but their items that they have here look really, really good. But with that, we're gonna continue our journey around World Showcase, we're gonna make our way to Japan. Oh, and look at this, they took away one of the taco barges. We have three more to go, and of course that center structure, the tallest out of the five that were in the lagoon. Yeah, I'm sure here in the next few days they'll get rid of the other three taco barges and then that centerpiece probably be gone and I'd say like maybe two or three weeks all of this will be gone. Oh, I love this setup here with all the different bamboo pieces that fill up with water and they spill into the pool down below here. Look at that little hidden Mickey up there. And of course I love the little Zen garden here with the bonsai trees. Isn't it just so pretty? And then the beautiful koi fish pond. So pretty. I've always been fascinated by the coloring on koi fish. It literally looks like some of them are neon. They're so bright orange. Some of them are so bright orange. And the different patterns that they have. Like this guy right here, the, the white and orange. Again, the orange is just so vibrant. Made it to America and look at this beautiful Tiana display here. By the way, Tiana's Bayou Adventure opening up late 2024 and at Disneyland, Splash Mountain closes on May 31st. So your last rides are on May 30th. Here in Germany, look at this. My goodness, they have like a giant crystal spaceship Earth. They also have the fountain up there too, the pylons. I have that. Dang, how much is that? Oh, $79,000, wow. And this is the same area where you can find these incredible beer steins. Look at the detail in all of these steins. It's pretty amazing. Okay, and also in this gift shop, they have some assorted alcoholic beverages available, and there is one that I might try right now. It's a pear brandy, and what's very interesting about it is they actually grow the pear inside the bottle. They stick the vine in the bottle, and they let it grow in the alcohol. So how unique is that? I'm gonna give it a try. All right, so there's the pear brandy right there. Comes in a little shot, but uh, be warned because this is 40%. This is very strong. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so it's very sweet at the very start, at the very beginning. You get a really beautiful sweet note of the pear. Oh my god, that's strong. <laughs> Oh yeah, this thing is no joke. Isn't that pretty unique? I've never heard of them growing something inside of the bottle as it as like the liquor kind of like cures. And oh yeah, this stuff is very strong. This would, if they give you like a full size serving, like if it wasn't in a shot glass and they give you like a five ounce pour, you'd probably be dead. Yeah, I mean, shout out to the people that just take a shot of this thing. I, that, I don't know how you could do that. It's. It's just so strong. Like I've had some strong drinks at Epcot, I've had some strong drinks in general, but I think this right here is probably the strongest thing I've ever had at the park thus far. I'm sure there's a few other little hidden gems somewhere, but this, this, this is no joke. And here we go, we officially made it to Teppanito here in Japan. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. It's just so hard to get a reservation and miraculously, we got a walk up. Ooh, and upon entering, it's kind of reminding me of Yamashiro in Hollywood. Oh yeah, there you go. By the way, I'm still trying to finish this. <laughs> this is, this is uh, still still beating me up here. So I'm very excited because I love Benihana. Here's our table, we're sharing it with another family. Oh yeah, yeah, I love these little restaurants like this. They're so cool. Yeah, very Benihana, very Shogun. And then here's what the menu is. And again, very similar to uh, Benihana and Shogun. So again, 
not too unfamiliar. And as far as what I'm gonna be getting for dinner, I'm gonna get the combination plate with steak and chicken, and I might get some sushi as well. Maybe the sashimi sampler or the sushi sampler sound pretty good. And the delicious salad has arrived. A little ginger dressing on top of that. Oh yeah, the salad is super refreshing. That ginger dressing, on point for sure. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Okay, the salad was absolutely delicious, but now on to the sushi. We have shrimp, tuna, salmon, a volcano roll, and a California roll. Looks like imitation crab on that, unfortunately, but that's okay. Oh, seeing a recreation of how they built Volcano Bay. the steak, the chicken, the udon noodles, the white rice, and then the dipping sauces off to the side there. Oh yeah, I love these places, and I'm so glad we finally were able to check out the version here at Epcot. And all I have left is rice. Oh man, that was so much food. The steak, the chicken, the noodles, all delicious. Totally recommend Tepanito here at Epcot. Definitely worth it. All right, finished up here at Tepanito. So yummy, that was very good. Worth it, every single penny. The food was fresh. Again, that steak and chicken, phenomenal. And the sushi was really good too. Oh man, that was so delicious. And my stomach is about to explode, but there's still a little room in there for dessert. So we're gonna continue walking around World Showcase and maybe find some more tasty treats. Oh, we got some birds flying over here. Maybe they're looking for tasty treats as well. Decided to stop at the gelato joint. And you know what, I might do uh, a little bit of lemon there. The lemon sounds pretty good. Or should I go, Cookies and cream, oh dang, I know Michael would get cookies and cream. But I might have to do lemon. Lemon sounds very refreshing right now. Here are all the different flavors right here. Yeah, they had strawberry and lemon for the sorbet versions. Yeah, I opted for the lemon. Ooh, I think that's mine right there. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks so good. Made it to the front of the park here. Gonna catch the monorail over to Magic Kingdom, but isn't she a beaut? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Monorail black coming in. Heck yeah. Look at this, this is like so vibrant. It's, yeah, this camera can't focus on, look at, there it goes. The camera's like, I can't give it all she's got, Captain. Yeah, I honestly hope that they keep those lights on Spaceship Earth forever because it's just so darn pretty. And you know, before the lights were on there, it was already gorgeous, but with those extra LEDs on Spaceship Earth, I mean, it just pops. Okay, monorail to transportation and ticket center. And of course, Magic Kingdom. Missed monorail black, but it's okay. Okay, we gotta take guesses. What monorail are we catching? What color? Uh, yellow. Green? Green? Yeah. Yellow? Orange. Orange? Okay. I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with green too, but not just any green, I'm gonna say lime. Oh. Lime, lime. Okay, the monorail is approaching and look at this. There's some green lighting, so either Spencer is right or I'm right. We're gonna find out if it's just green or lime. Um, I guess green. Is it, is it green or is it lime? I don't know. I might, be, I might have won this one. I don't know. I must say, you might, you might have won. That looks like jungle green to me. It, it kind of looks like jungle green. Yeah, let's see. What does it say? It'll say on the inside. It doesn't say on the outside. Oh, that's right. Once we get in, we'll know. Oh, green. Oh, you yep, were right. you were, you were right. Yes. You were right. Monorail green. green. 
Now we're still waiting for the ferry boat, but we're catching the tail end of the show here. Oh yeah. Such a good view too. And what's cool here at the TTC, they play the music from the show. So if you're on the way out, you don't want to deal with the crowds and be close to your car, you can still watch the show and enjoy the music with it as well. Oh yeah, look at this chaos. Yeah, if you're exiting the park after fireworks, uh, just try not to exit the park after fireworks. Wait, wait a little bit. And upon entering Magic Kingdom, look at that. They've replaced the 50th anniversary little emblem thing in the front with a new 100th anniversary Walt Disney Company emblem thing. So there you go. That's pretty much all the 100th decorations I got. Yeah, honestly, my best advice after fireworks shows and stuff like that, if the park stays open after the fireworks show, wait like 45 minutes to an hour. If you can bear it, just wait a little bit because that way, by the time you exit the park, there won't be any lines for the monorails or the ferry boats. The same goes for like Disneyland as well. If you want to wait after the fireworks show, you won't have to deal with that mass exodus. Oh yeah, you always got to get the side shot. Yeah, they're draining the moat, like I said in my other vlog. They prepare to get rid of the 50th anniversary decorations on Cinderella Castle. But she still looks beautiful at night. Okay, we're at the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. We made it inside the treehouse because I wanted to show you two little hidden Easter eggs here. The first one is this little hidden Mickey right above the doorway. So you have to walk through it and turn around, you'll be able to see it. And the second is the submarine right here because across the way at Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, there was the uh, submarine lagoon that used to be here at Magic Kingdom. Yeah, for those that don't know, they did have a submarine ride as well. And since we're over here, why not ride the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh? But first, we have to read. All the interactive play elements are, are back. That's how you can tell a watermelon's ready to go. Oh, yeah. Here's another interactive element. Look, you, you don't even have to touch it. You can just use the force. Like it's Star Wars. Oh, and there goes the honey pot. Oh no! Sebastian! He's supposed to be over at a Little Mermaid ride! Alright, here comes our honey pot. Oh yeah. Okay, we're taking off at 80 miles an hour. Oh dang, it's like warm in here. Oh, their house is falling down! Oh, watch out. Hold on. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, we're going into the rain room. Oh. Okay, our vehicle is moving even crazier right now. Hang on, Piglet. Well, you know, I think that's going to do it for today's video from Walt Disney World, bouncing back and forth between the parks, cruising around on the monorail, the Skyliner. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these vlogs from Walt Disney World or some of your other favorite theme parks, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos every single week. Be sure to check out my Instagram account by following the link down below. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.